So I thought it would be nice to give the goth family a makeover. So I just, I went into my save game and I was like, all right, let's uh, give the goths a makeover. And excuse me, where is Mortimer Goth? Where has he gone? And so I want to see what has happened to him. Because I wanted to give them all a makeover, but now there's like tea that I didn't think would be in my game. <gasps> Oh my gosh, there has been a loss in the family. He must have died. How did he die? Wait, Bella has completely wiped him from her mind? Now that is some serious trauma. Mortimer Goth, he died? Oh my gosh, he died by electrocution. <gasps> that is so sad. But the crazy thing is, Bella doesn't remember him. It's like whatever happened was so traumatic that she has, she's managed to wipe it from her memory. Is his like tombstone anywhere? Can we see where this happened? Why is there this chair here? I mean, honestly, I'm in shock, but this does lead us to a great storyline whereby maybe they've got a downsize now. I mean, maybe they don't want to live in the house where he was electrocuted, although they are the goth family and historically in The Sims, they have even lived, you know, with their own graveyard in, in the backyard. So. Maybe they wouldn't mind. I don't know. I mean, what is Bella making these days? She's an intelligent researcher, but she's only a secret agent level two. Cassandra's high school, aging up in seven days. Alexander's just about to age up to a teen. That's so sad. You never got to see Alexander as a teenager. And Mortimer was a writer, freelance article writer. But you know, I don't, I don't think Bella's you know, they've got 45,000 simoleons, but I don't know if that's gonna get that far with only one income, you know what I'm saying? So we probably need to get the goths to downsize and build like a smaller house for them. And I'd also like to give them a little bit of a creative sim makeover, which I have done before, but The Sims actually updated this family um, because people weren't happy with how they were originally shown in the game. Uh, I think the new looks of these Sims are much better. But, you know, we've got so many great packs to have a bit of fun with. I love Bella's nose. I love a little hump in the nose. I even think after such a traumatic event that we should maybe change the traits a bit. I'm actually just gonna put on the Kaz full edit mode sheet um, because I wanna change like their traits and aspirations because after such a big traumatic thing happening, I think it would maybe have changed them just a little bit. I mean, Bella doesn't even wanna remember what happened. Is it possible Bella was involved? Was this an act of, of crime? No, I feel like Bella and Mortimer were good together. I think she's just upset. Apparently she's a party animal. She does not want to be throwing parties or going to parties right now, okay? That's the last thing she wants to do. I mean, obviously we're going to downsize, so maybe we don't want to own the biggest, fanciest home. I honestly believe she wants to have a family that succeeds in life. Maybe she's still romantic. I never thought of her as a good sim. Is that just me? I always thought she was a little, like, evil. <laughs> I always think all my sims are evil. What does that say about me? I have trust problems. No, I, I literally do. I spoke about this with my therapist. <laughs> also random, but this is a popcorn protein shake. It's so good. I feel like if I get rid of good, people are going to get upset. But you guys, you know what? It's my game. And if I want to, you know, spill the tea in my game, I will. Family oriented, yes. There are good parts of Bella Goth. Maybe she wants to get a cat. Maybe she becomes like a serial romantic to try and fill the lost void of her true love. Oh, <gasps> this Sim wants to destroy the love lives of all Sims, including her own. Yes, because she's like, if I don't have anyone to love, then no one shall have anyone to love. Oh, I just, I just got rid of the other aspiration. Lol, let's keep it. And I think she can still be a bit snobby. Cause like, even though she had this big house, now she has to downsize. She's still trying to hold on to that wealth and the insecurity comes through her as snobbery. So yeah, when we build their new house, I'll just do the makeover in this video cause I wanna get you and your opinion about what kind of house we should downsize into. Like, have we lost everything? Are we taking some furniture with us and getting like a more regular style home? Or is it like really down to the budget small home? Is it an old house that they've squished some of their furniture into? Or is it actually quite nice, just smaller? I mean, I guess we still have quite a bit of money once we sell their existing house and furniture. So I think we can get a pretty nice place. I kind of am liking this bun, you know, the updo, very nice. And if she's becoming a villainous Valentine, then she's gonna 
gonna go for a little bit of woohoo appeal, I think. Let's just dim the cheeks a little bit. I like the dark lips, but I think I wanna give them maybe a little bit more redness. A bit more of a slight berry lip, I suppose. You could add, have daggers as earrings. Okay, I don't think she's that evil. Like, I don't think she's out to kill other Sims. I feel like the goths come from old money, so having some jewels makes sense. And I know she's classically worn a lot of red, but I'm a little bit tempted to try some green. Or maybe we can do that as a secondary outfit. It's actually been so long since I've done a good creator sim video and I'm seeing some necklaces and things and being like, oh my gosh, I haven't actually used these pieces before. They're so nice. I do like this really bold statement necklace with the gold pearls included. All right, I am excited to change this dress. Don't get me wrong, I think it's a great dress, but we've got more options than base games. I say we have fun with that. Let's go. Wow, she looks amazing. She would definitely be Catwoman for Halloween. Wee, love it with the stockings. Okay, what am I doing? The first look should have a signature red dress. That's beautiful, but I think it's too dressy for everyday wear. And I like the idea of keeping stockings, so we might add those again, but for now we'll just not have them. It looks like Mrs. Crumplebottom. Okay, this is not the everyday look, but how awesome does she look in that? That should be like formal outfit. Oh, that looks good too. She looks good in so many different formal dresses. But what we need is an everyday look. But I love story progression that they finally added it. Oh, she looks cute in that. Because now these things happen and you're like, oh my gosh, what happened? And it can start like a whole new storyline for your game. I actually don't mind this. It's very simple, but it is nice. That's nice. Okay, Bella, you look good in everything. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, I know this might seem a little bit dressy, but I think just to keep the classic Bella look, just elevate it a bit, we'll go with this one. But her next everyday outfit, I think should also be kind of overdressed, but I think we should go for a different color on her. The jacket that I, or the blazer, I really, really would like to see her wear is this one that came with one of the kits. And I think the electric blue, she does look amazing in, or the orange she looks pretty good in. But let's be honest. I think she pulls off anything very well. And this actually came with shorts to go with it. These longer shorts, although they don't really go because there's not the exact same color. I think we can probably find something better. Oh no, these are the shorts that are meant to go with it. But then this pack also had those longer shorts, which are really cool. I think I like the uh, the black shorts instead of the full matching set. And then maybe with this outfit, she can have a different hairstyle. That hairstyle is really good on her, but I want to do something different. Oh, what about just this hair? This hair's lovely. And maybe for this one, we change the earrings to hoops or pearls or just something different. And we'll do a different necklace as well. Yeah, that looks really good. <gasps> Maybe Bella got a tattoo, even though she doesn't want to remember Mortimer. We need like some kind of symbolic tattoo. Kitchen utensils, cause he probably got electrocuted in the kitchen. Maybe this script tattoo. You guys always say that I say tattoo, not tattoo. Tattoo, where's that bun that I originally had? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's have one more outfit option. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was just playing around with the colors and look how chic this is. Whoa, it's too much. My issue with the blue is maybe she only wears like black and red and we're better off just doing all black. Okay, let's just go all black. I feel like I'm straying too far away from who Bella Goth is. And then I'm thinking for the third outfit, a sheer kind of a top. There's one I'm thinking of, I think it might be from Realm of Magic. And it's got a collar and like striped pattern on it. Ah, this one, kind of cool. I actually quite like this. And then we can go back to the tights and it's a bit more of the original goth look. Wait, does that mean the, the top isn't tucked in when you wear tights? Oh, that's a bummer. Is it the same with the socks? Oh no. Okay, well, I guess we won't get to wear tights, but I would have preferred the tights with that outfit. Bella, you look fabulous. Okay, we've got to go with that amazing vintage dress. Oh, there's so many of these look so good. Look how good that looks with the gloves. I like how during fashion week, there were so many 
gloves coming back in again. There's something very elegant about gloves. This is giving me Angelina Jolie, the leg outfit, and I think we should keep it. The vintage one's amazing as well. That can be the winter formal attire. We really badly need just some like plain pointed heels. And I think we'll go no necklace because this is just such a nice neckline anyway and go with some drop earrings like those. Stunning. I'm obsessed with Bella. <laughs> this can be activewear. Oh gosh, we have so much gorgeous lingerie now. Let's do a few. Let's have the casual one. Is there, is there anything that comes in the red? I guess this one has red on it. I really wanted her to have like a red teddy or red lingerie. But this can be her more seductress look. Or just her underwear. She has really nice underwear. I remember there was once a time when I always wished to have matching underwear. And then I really got over that idea. Oh yeah, it just wasn't important to me anymore. For party wear, I really like the idea of just like a very simple long sleeve dress maybe. I mean, ideally I would have liked to have the the collar here. I'm not sure what people call it, but yeah, I think just a very simple but elegant look. A lot of her outfits can be very showy, but she's also very elegant. Okay, swimwear. Oh yes, we have so much new swimwear too. Floaties, anyone? <gasps> I love this. I would actually love to wear this. That's so nice. I'm not sure if that's really her style though. This I'm feeling, yes, or this. Uh, let's go with this one and some big sunnies. Sunnies with the red on them, staying very on brand. I think we'll do hair up for somewhere. Can be very hot having your hair down and I know it doesn't matter for the Sims, but I still think of them. And I don't have my ears pierced, but I feel like simple earrings maybe in summer. So you don't get flustered. Is that a thing or is that just something I've made up? Ooh, what about this red dress? The Judith Ward special. I mean, it's very goth in a way with the collar. I wish it came in red. You know what? I think she actually kills it in this simple dress. Again, simple, simple yet effective. We need to fix this makeup. Oh my gosh, I've been doing this for over an hour and I've only done Bella goth. That's wild. This is an amazing combo. Love this. Is this too saucy to pair this with the mini and do an all black look? Or better yet, with the red. Well, actually this is quite nice. What do you guys think of this? And if we change the earrings to gold, it'll break it up a bit. I quite like that. Okay, if you watch her walk uh -huh. with the feminine walk, uh -huh. see? That's cute. That's cute. I love it, Bella. Okay, I've been doing this for an hour and 15 minutes, only on one sim. I just had to go out for the afternoon and now I'm back again and I'm really excited to finish off this family. I just love their new storyline. Okay, so I added a couple of new things to Bella Goth. I just felt like she needed more outfits. So this is another winter option. Very nice. It's very like business chic. Then I added this to summer. I thought the stripes were pretty cute. And then I also gave her the Judith Ward treatment with that dress. Then we have the other dress from last time. All of these are pretty much the same. Oh, I changed active wear because I just felt like this looked better. Uh, and I think I gave, oh, I think I changed the shoes to boots for this outfit. And then I gave um, one extra outfit as well. I could see her starting her own business. I don't know, she's very fashionable. So moving on to Cassandra. Goth. I feel like Cassandra should stay the same. She is a musical genius. She is creative and she is gloomy, Ooh. especially since her dad passed away. I'm sure she might be feeling a bit more gloomy from that as well. And I was just having a look at a couple of options for outfits and I thought this would be super cute for summer wear maybe and changing the hairstyle to the plaits without the side fringe I think and then I love this dress as well and then this one too there's so many great preppy items for Cassandra like we have so many options here so yeah this is the before I think we can mix it up a little bit so we'll save this dress for summer wear let me grab that before I forget about it so we'll go back to that later this hairstyle is actually from outdoor retreat which was the first DLC pack, I think. It came out or was it Get to Work? No, I think Outdoor Retreat was the first pack they released. And Snowy Escape has a few preppy options. I mean, that I even find kind of cool. Ooh, that's cute. I guess the vibe for Cassandra is a bit of like a Wednesday Adams look, but 
modernized. I actually still haven't watched the Netflix show. I really need to do that. There's this option too, which I think definitely works, that the high school years dress might be a better option. Like it's still preppy, but maybe a bit more stripped back. And I love the red tartan. Should we go stockings? Eh. Maybe the long socks. Let's do that for the first outfit. And then did we want any like necklaces or actually they, no, they probably won't show up with the dress. I could definitely see Cassandra becoming a spellcaster at some point or werewolf or some kind of a cult. Actually, what do you guys think of this hairstyle? This hairstyle I've never liked and never used because I felt like the fringe looked really, not like a fringe, like a cardboard cutout. On Cassandra and in black, it actually isn't as noticeable, at least to me. So I'm, I, I think I prefer this. The back of it's really nice. Yeah, let's do that. And it heels a bit much for these shoes, maybe. I think these ones are good. I'm not completely convinced by these glasses. Perhaps those ones look better. What about this for another look? It kind of looks like, it reminds me of in Gossip Girl, how they have school uniforms, but not really, because they're all completely stylized and different and like paired with designer jackets. And it's along the same idea. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh my gosh, the clueless outfit. Such a great outfit. I think it's actually a little bit much though. I think we should go with the tartan mini and then do another version of this outfit with a different top. As much as I love Clueless, I remember I convinced James Turner and critic Zeus to watch Clueless with me. I don't know how I managed to convince them, but they watched it and I was like, it is such a good movie. You're gonna love it. And they did not enjoy it at all, but they were good sports about it. Actually, this is a great option. This is very Wednesday Ad Adams, in my opinion. Not that I've seen the new show, but in like the original show. The problem is whenever I want to watch new shows, shows that have creepy themes, I feel like I need to concentrate on and I don't like eating while watching creepy shows because I feel like it'll put me off my food if it gets gory. So I'm like, I can't be doing other stuff and I can't be eating in front of it. So then I end up never watching them. It's honestly very strange. Good Lord, that is a towny outfit if I've ever seen one. We need to fix you up. What about this? Is it too over the top? Should we go for something a little less fancy maybe? But I like it. No, we're gonna keep it. And I think we should do like boots underneath. Yeah. Should we maybe take off the necklace though? The necklace a bit much. No, I think we should do the necklace as well because it is too much, but a teenager, you're trying to learn to express yourself. And Cassandra might like the chaos of layering, okay? A lot of people do. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I think for active, just oversized t-shirt leggings with the classic skirt over the top is a bit of fun. I remember I used to always wear skirts over leggings. It was like the cool thing to do. And it's coming all back in. Sleepwear, just easy shorts, t-shirt. What do you guys think of this for Cassandra's party wear? I thought, you know, the glasses come off for the party. There's this vintage black dress, gloves. It's like a bit of, Bit of a vintage grandma look, but I think it looks really cute and should feel really pretty and proper in it. Going to an event, swimwear, easy. And then warm weather wear. This is the dress we put aside earlier. I think this gives me Cindy Brady vibes. Did you guys ever watch the original Brady Bunch TV show? Cindy, the youngest kid, had these gorgeous little dresses in the 70s. And it, 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 yeah, this just reminds me of Cindy. Cindy Brady. Yeah, let's do that for some. Oh, and then we also had this dress, that's right. See, this is why I have to put them aside at the start, otherwise I totally forget. I mean, the stripes are cool. Maybe the uh, drawn on sneakers. Although that doesn't really look like the other outfits. As much as I love the drawn on sneakers, I think we should just do prim and proper shoes because that's what she's wearing with her other outfits. Like we can do just more loafers maybe with some cute little socks. Yeah, we'll just go with, with something like this, I think. Oh my gosh, James is so loud filming next door. You guys can probably hear him. Okay, I've gone back to the clueless outfit for cold weather. I just really love this. I don't think these boots are right. Let's go these lace-ups instead and we'll double up on the socks because it's pretty cold just with stockings on. Yay, Cassandra looks really good. I love this. I think my favorite outfit might be just even the first one. But yeah, if you see Cassandra walking around town, I would believe that 
This is Cassandra's mm. taste in cloves. Now, last of all, we have Alexander, but Alexander is just about to age up to a teenager, so but I don't want to cheat that in case that puts him at the end of his teen lifespan. So I might just do some very minor, minor kid changes. I think these little overalls are super cute. I think the turtleneck is the winning outfit. Looks so good. Formal wear, the little bow tie and vest. Athletic, pretty plain. Sleep skeleton outfit. Few skeletons in this family's closet, perhaps. Party bow tie. Swimwear, pretty cute. I think this summer wear, this is the one that he already has. I feel like he needs his shoulders covered. He'll get sunburnt. When you live in Australia, the sun is so strong here. You like cover your shoulders. I also like the original round glasses. That's nice. And I love this red jacket for winter wear. So I think we're done here. I think, uh, oh, I also added this winter look to Bella Goth. Yeah, I think these guys look so good. Love the makeover. I hope you guys like the makeover too. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my members for your beautiful support. I love you guys. And let me know what video you would like to see next if it's a goth like mini build tell me what kind of house does it look like do they have their old furniture is it fancy is it more casual let me know in the comments down below because i can't wait to build it and as always i hope you're having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you're on the world i'll speak to you soon Dag -dag.